So why you must have cash in the Philippines? Like actual cash, pesos, not credit, not dollars, not your ATM card, straight pesos. Looks like a lot of people are exercising today. So, all right, so I came to Boracay like almost three weeks ago and I had a one-way ticket and I had like probably 30,000 pesos. Um, the Philippines is basically a cash country. You will go to 7-Eleven, a major, major establishment that has branches all over the world. And 7-Eleven is cash only. You will go to Jollibee, another major establishment that even has branches in the United States, and it's cash only. You will go to any number of places in fact, right now, I'm walking to the closest place that will accept a credit card. Most places that do accept credit cards have a 500 peso minimum. So you're gonna need to stock up on something in order to even clear the threshold. The place that I'm going to right now does not have a minimum, but it's a long, long, long walk. And so you figure you had 30,000 pesos, well, how could you blow through all that? You ain't doing much, you don't drink, you know, you don't uh, this or that. But when I found this deal, my place for 170K for the year, um, I wanted to secure it instantly before someone else grabbed it or whatever the case may be. So I gave the gentleman 17,000 pesos in cash, just boom, as a 10% holding deposit to take it off the market. And I didn't want to mess around with, oh, can I give you 15? Can I give you 16? And, and this and that. So um, at the end of the day, um, you just need to really uh, have cash. You gotta have cash, man. This is a cash society. Um, if you wanna take a tricycle, it's cash. There's no credit option, none of that nonsense, of course not. Um, any number of other things that I could think of, it is cash, cash only, cash is king and you want to have it when you come to an island like Boracay you want to do your money exchanges in Metro Manila because the rate here isn't as good in Metro Manila they'll damn near give you a matching rate here they're going to give you the little island tax so make sure you exchange your money in Manila exchange your money at the airport exchange your money wherever you can because here you're going to lose uh you know you're going to get 54 for a 55 exchange where in Manila you're going to they're going to damn near get you five uh, five cents or whatever you want to call it, uh, you're going to basically get a matching, almost identical rate because it's a big city. When you're in a tourist trap, they're going to try to hit you for a couple of pesos on each exchange, on each dollar or whatever. So um, at the end of the day, cash society, I learned the hard way, but it's not really a big deal for me. Um, obviously having credit is okay, but you know, just little things like to get out of here, um, you know, like I could just take the boat for a hundred pesos or whatever and you know pay a little uh, fee here and there it would have cost me like 150 pesos but because I only have credit I had to hire a transfer service so it's costing me like 600 pesos or whatever the fuck but they streamline it they make it easy if it's your first time here I suggest you do it for me I could have done it the other way and saved you know 500 pesos but I really don't care and it'll, it makes it very easy when you have them do that for you. They handle the little, uh, you know, kind of customs area when you're coming in and out. They, you know, they immediately whisk you off in a van or whatever. So it's kind of nice. But at the end of the day, I didn't need it. I could have saved money on that. Um, there's many different things that um, you need cash for. So just have cash. I had cash, obviously. And then I was like, okay. I'm gonna go to the ATM, even though for to get 10,000 pesos, I'm gonna get hit for a thousand. Um, I was like, it's cool, fuck it, I need a little cash. Well, guess what? I didn't even have my fucking debit card. I got plenty of credit cards, but I don't even have my goddamn debit card. So, no getting any cash out. And uh, I'll make another video about how I did manage to get a little bit of cash, another Boracay encounter. But yeah, that's it. Bring your cash. Don't rely on credit. Credit's great at some places. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm getting by just great with flying colors with it, but I'm certainly spending more money. And then little things like that airport transfer service are costing me, or just little things that I'm not able to do. Again, 7-Eleven, Jollibee, you name it, 
cash only. There is no credit, none of that nonsense. They're not looking for credit, they want your cash and you need pesos, all right.